Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this OMD whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, we're back off F1 2013. Now you're looking at the screen and you're sat there and you're wondering, Mod, that's not 2013. And that's the Codemasters Racenet page. Yes, it is. How very observant of you. Uh, well, I'm bringing this up because I just want to have. I've been wondering. Racenet, it, it encourages you to go online to look at the tables and see how you're doing. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. I mean, I've logged on briefly and gone through the select game option and. Um, had a look in advance to look roughly at what we're looking at, but we've got friends list here, Jeebus 690, that'd be Watson, and Warlock, that's Warlock. What happens if we click on these names anyway? And the idea is we're going to have a look at Racenet and then, oh, he's only got four awards as well. Achieved a bronze medal performance in a Racenet event. How do you do that? Apparently I can unlink with Watson. Ha! Nice little scrolly thing at the bottom that we're not going to pay any attention to. Don't really know what's going on there. Let's let's go back. So we've got some XP for doing whatever. Linked into Steam. Let's select a game. We've got a little list here. F1 2013, Grid, Race Stars. We're going to go for F1 2013. That shows us what we've done so far. Our favourite car is the Marussia by look of it, or at least that's the last car we used. Six race wins, six three poles, no championships, tracks. What's this show us? Haven't really gone too this actually shows us how Is this the current race net thing? Where's my position in the Abu Dhabi standings? Oh, apparently I don't have one. How rude! So what have we done? We, I, know, I, know, I know we've done Brazil in Racenet. Fastest lap 112. There we go. My position is there. 1,805 out of how many? Where's the bottom position? Uh, can I find the bottom position? I would like to know how many people actually entered that. Very nice. Oh, one, 55 seconds on there. How the hell? Are people cheating or something? 55. 1 minute 1, 1 minute 6, 1 minute six. At least 1 minute 5, so at least a reasonably believable. How the fuck is that done? 55 seconds. Crazy, crazy. The goals? What we got for goals? General, mode based, young driver, time trial, blah blah blah. Race net XP. Next level unlocked at level 6. Okay, so you have to keep getting XP to. Okay, okay. So what's general then? Drive a total of 40,000 kilometres and we've done. Or is that 20,000 20, XP we get? No, we've done Don't Follow Lead. Complete 10 laps in first place. Okay, cool. Making it look easy. Come first in 20 races, so I have to win 20 races. Around the world. Oh, we just looked at that one. Clean sweep. Complete 10 clean races. I don't think we've done one yet. Uh, win 10 races on Pro or Legend difficulty. Not going to happen. Complete a clean race on. No. Spent a total of 24 hours playing on F1. No, not yet anyway. Complete a time trial in the wet with no assists. That we can do. That should be easy enough. Globetrotter at least will complete at least one lap on every track. I should have done that one by now. Is there a track I haven't done yet? Never mind. Statistics. So yeah, you're getting the general idea of race net at the moment. I mean What's this mean? We need to... that oh, that's uh Watson's race net stats, is it? Okay. Even though it said he was level something else. No world championship wins in either the drivers or the constructors. Win percentage, 21% of my races have won, whereas Watson's won 47. Is there anything else on that page? No. Event. What's an event? Ah! Race net event. So, my position on here. I am 588. And have entered a few... What's this? History? 588 on Interlagos. I'm happy with that. Nürburgring in the dry in the Mercedes. Uh, that was 13th. It's basically one a week it's averaging out at. I've actually been entering them once a week since I started entering them. Ooh, go mod, go mod. <laughs> so, my position. Friends. Has anybody else bothered to... Oh. Yeah. Watson got a 111. Only a bit faster than me, Watson. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Although the race net best is 1 minute 8. Okay. I'm not too ashamed of that all of a sudden. Only four seconds off the top. I'm actually quite happy with that. All of a sudden. Two days left to beat that one. And manage events. 
What's this one? Oh, we can make our own race net event. Um, this is one of the options I saw before, I've just remembered. God, my memory is really, really bad at the moment, it seems. Um, on this page, you can create your own custom race net events to share with your friends and choose to take part in the events they create. By selecting an event from the list below, this will become the event that appears in F1 2013 when you choose to enter a race net event from the game's menu. So I assume, why don't we try this for today? We'll try this. We'll create a, we'll select a circuit and you'll be very interested to know you can select at the very bottom old circuits. So I'm going to go with Brands Hatch in which car? Do we go for the 312 T2? I'm tempted to go for the 312 T2. Oh, it's such a nice car. And actually, we won't go for Brands Hatch, we'll go for Esteril in the wet. And your default time, you can your event expires, that could be three days, minimum is one day, maximum is five days. So we'll create that event. Yes, we'll create you. There we go. Select. This will change your selected RaceNet event within F1 2013. You can change to any other open event at any time here on RaceNet. Select. OK, so if I want to go back to that one, I can select that event. That's fine by me. What's that do? That take us to the actual stats. This event requires the following DLC. Click now to click to buy. I've already got this DLC. Fuck off. But I will be taking part in this first, and this is going to be what we're doing today then. So I shall see you in the game, guys. Back in a few. Okie dokie, welcome back, guys. Now we've just seen how to set up a race net event, and now we're going to actually go into race net and have a look for it. This is my first time loading the game up since creating that, so about two minutes have passed since then. But for you guys, it'll be moments. So, first of all, go to my F1, to then go to race net. Connecting to race net. And this should now show us. Estoril Light Rain and the Ferrari 312 T2. Fantastic. This is Mod 1982's custom event. And I assume you have to be my friend to actually find this race net event. So that would be anyone on Team Tuxedo, really. <laughs> thing which, uh, thing in Team Tuxedo, there's a really big announcement about the four player championship on Wednesday's video where we'd start the four player four race thing. For anybody that can't be asked to watch it, we're, we've added another team. So you'll have to watch that video to find out what we're on about there. Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, we've got the 312 T2. I love this car! I don't know why, but it's just such great fun to drive. Uh, we'll pile on the downforce. I'm actually going to modify this setup for this one. Balance... Uh, uh, I, I would like a bit more turning. Suspension, we need a bit more ride height. Soften suspension a little. Gears can stay as they are. Do the usual clinky clink on the front and then go to race. Very much looking forward to this. I don't know what's an unlock in particular will be like, we're not doing that, it's wet. Not doing the wet with you mod, no. Why not? It's fun. Look at that! Whee! Down the main straight we go. Oh wow, the 1980 Williams is our ghost car. Nice predictable behaviour. Flat. Floor it! There's actually plenty of grip in this. I could probably get rid of a bit of downforce actually. And we don't want to do too many laps because I'm sure you don't want to see me driving the same car over and over on the same circuit. After all, I'm only trying to demonstrate the race now. Which is something I can quite happily get into, I reckon. I don't know what it is, but there's something about the Ferrari 312 and this circuit that just goes together and works. There's no curse, no chance to use the RS because there is none. There's no way of turning up the engine. Bang! Okay, we'll set a banker lap. 
Now let's see how fast we can really go. Oh, okay, already slower than our first mod best. Oh, being too rough with the car. Too aggressive with the throttle. That's our fault. That's definitely our fault. Oh, go away. Well, let's try and catch up with ourselves anyway. That'll be good practice. See if we can catch up to ourselves. Kicking the arse end up just a little bit there and then... Bam! I do believe we are actually catching up with ourselves. Not the best run out of that corner, but it'll do. Alright, let's actually keep up the track this time, mod. Oh, fuck off, that was only slightly off the track. Use this view for a bit. Watson said in the past actually this car's got a huge amount of detail on the rear end. And it does actually look at how many exhausts I think got pointing out the back? Oh and the engine tone's changed a little as well. I assume this has a V12 in it. No assistance on, so how about donut time, please? Donut, donut, donut. Go on, donut, donut. It's refusing to let me donut. Wow. That's not very fair. So, wheel spinning is easy, but not donutting. Wow, thanks Codemasters for not letting me donut. I can spin, but I can't donut. Actually, let's try a lap like that. I can guarantee it's not going to be as good as run over the first front line, but straight. There we go. Ah, I'm talking rubbish. on the brakes. Very controllable. I love it, I love it, I love it. Very happy on the uh, accelerator there, the last lap went with mods. Oh yes. Yes, that's more like it. Half a second up. be a better run for this corner. Oh, nearly a whole second faster. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fluff that up a little bit.
Oh, no, 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 no. I think we'll make this our last lap in any case. We don't want to bore you all to death now. Ooh, I'll say a balloon in the air. A Zeppelin even. I think by braking slightly earlier, we're actually getting a hell of a lot of time out of the car. No doubt Watson will tell me about Jackie Stewart driving school, blah blah blah. Don't go wrong, Jackie Stewart, awesome, but I've tried, I need to learn it to myself, not from Jackie Stewart. And that'll do, that'll do. I do like that car. I do like that car. Quit to main menu. 121.227. Have a go at that, lads. Have a go at that. Whether you actually choose to have a go or not is a different matter altogether. And now we're seeing um, the result of the latest patch to F1 2013. I think. No, we're not actually. It's always been like that, what I'm saying. What should we do today? What's in the proving grounds? Scenario mode, time attack, or time trial? Let's do 2013 scenario mode. Uh, get to experience what it's like to be a. Okay, we'll do this one. Claw your way up the grid and finish ahead of your teammates. Claw. Win the World Drivers' Championship in your rookie year. Hmm. Brazil, because I like Brazil so fucking much. It means using the McLaren, unfortunately, but we're getting the McLaren out of the way and done with. So all I have to do in this one is finish second, I think it said. Just a few laps to go in the Brazilian Grand Prix, and the rookie McLaren driver needs a second place finish to win the World Drivers' Championship. No I pressure then. Him out just yet. He's had such an amazing first season. <laughs> they, they, they do really know that it's me they're talking about, right? Oh, oh, no, where, where's my brake balance? No! So we've got not a lot of time to get there. Amazingly enough, today was out. Oh, well, today I've been recording this is Sunday. Last race of the season. Brazil, into Lagos. Threatened to rain all the time. A lot of fun. Got used to it till. Three laps worth of fuel. Okay, let's turn it up and go for it. Raikkonen wasn't there, but it's last race for Felipe Massa at Ferrari, last race for the weather in F1, last race for Perez at McLaren. Oh shit, we've still got all our cars. Ah, bollocks, 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 bollocks. I hate to do this. Wow, is that all I get for... That's ludicrously short. Might as well not fucking bother. I thought I had flashbacks turned off anyway. Fine, fuck it. No more restarts. Especially since, you know, our braking was completely gone wrong in that first section. Suit up. We're on the hard tyres, really? But already, because we've got our braking sorted out, I know we know roughly what this car can do now. Sort of. P5 already. Brilliant overtake. Now push. What do you think I'm doing, Tim? Good old Tim. Love Tim. Give us the RS on. Is that Master? 
Probably Massa. Yep, it's Massa. Bing! 111, but that wasn't my 111. DRS and Alonso, please, thank you. That's you down. Now the gap between me and Webber is under a second, even better. But Vettel's quite a way up the track now. I'm confident, I like Interlagos. Seems a bit unrealistic though, 2013 McLaren. Fighting for a podium. Oh, 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 there we go. Have that Weber, have it. Now let's go up and your teammate. Let's win this championship in style. Oh, oh, oh. Plenty of fuel. Dump all the curves about here-ish. And here. Three laps to go. If you hold on to this position till the end of the race, you will be crowned the World Driver Champion. Thank you, Tim. I smell blood up ahead. Tim, let me catch him first, yeah. Keep the car ahead under pressure. He might make a mistake. He because won't. Vettel doesn't make mistakes under pressure. Well, not all the time, anyway. Catching, catching, catching. We're going to get DRS on the main straight. I want us to get DRS on the main straight. Let's push a bit now. Bing. There we go. We're into the final couple of laps. Oh, we got him. That was a bit easy. Now he's going to get the RS on us. Let's cover the inside. And jobs are good. This car handles quite nicely, actually. I didn't tell anybody I actually said that though, Jesus. I'm going to use the 2012 car. You have a two second gap to the car behind. We need to keep it clean so he doesn't get a chance to overtake. I'm working on it, Tim. I'm working on it. A lot of people got penalties in the race for crossing the white lines like that, actually. Fuel is good, eh? Thank you, Tim. That's the sort of information I love. There's only 114? How? Yeah, that's 400 down. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can get a 111, because that 111 isn't my 111. You're locking your front tyres. Try adjusting the brake balance back. No, no, no. I'm good, Tim. I'm good. Temps there. Although that's not purple. Is that relative to our previous best then? 
optimal fuel. And then across the line at 113. We got a bronze. Second place was an ambitious goal for the McLaren driver, but he's really delivered today. The reward for such a drive, the World Drivers' Championship. Thank you, mate. Thank you. But I don't care. I passed the challenge. That's all I wanted to do. I like this helmet. I think I'll keep it. At least until Codemasters fix my current one. Codemasters fix helmet six. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, F1 decided to shrink on me. As as watching the end, the celebratory sequence there, it decided that it didn't want me to watch it, and it decided to shrink the video and stop the recording as a result. So thanks, Codemasters, for yet another bug. So we're going to guess we have to get bronze medals and all of those, and then we unlock the teammate battle. Oh, the medals need to unlock this group two. Then five to unlock that one. Eight to unlock that one. Okay, okay. Anyway, that's been... Uh, we'll do some more of that next time, I think. Come back on Wednesday, not Friday, guys, because Wednesday we're going to start the four-player four-race championship. And I think we'll find something else on Friday. So the new format for Formula 1 is now single-player stuff on Mondays, multiplayer on Wednesdays. So I do hope that's okay with you. If not, you, you're going to have to live with it, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, I've been Mod. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. If you think your friends might enjoy it, please share with them. Dream big, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.